I shared a video yesterday with the letter and someone ended up coming onto the channel and commenting something that really cheesed me. Like it made me really, really pissed off. <laughs> what's going on it's twin intuitive 717 i am back with another video i hope you guys are doing incredibly well happy saturday family so i wanted to come on guys and share a quick reading for the divine masculine specifically because i shared a video yesterday with the letter and someone ended up coming onto the channel and commenting something that really cheesed me like it made me really really pissed off and so i before i get into the story first of all like i just want to thank you guys like for those of you who are there for me and you support me and you are riding this wave with me, no matter how I talk, no matter how I carry myself, no matter if I let my Trini accent slip out, no matter if I say bruh or, you know, shit, or maybe I might swear sometimes, I just, I love you guys for accepting me for who it is I am. And thank you for fiercely backing me up in the comment section as well. And just being here with me, okay, and accepting me. Now, yesterday I had someone leave a comment about me as a reader and how I often tend to portray the masculines as these bra types who are these city guys that are urban, who are uneducated and immature. And they went on further <laughs> to say that the masculines they deal with are educated, mature, well-kept, you know, I don't even know if they said dress well, like at the end of the day, the comment came off as pretty shitty and racist. And I think it was the word urban that really triggered me because it's just a euphemism that is outdated and it's just not accepted today and it's not classy. And for someone talking about education and maturity, that was not classy and that was very immature of you to associate those types of words with someone who speaks with an accent or speaks with slang or maybe you grew up in the Caribbean or maybe you're Latin and you have, you know, a bit of the accent within you when you speak English and someone tries to come at you and correct you or make you somehow feel like the way you talk represents not being educated and you know who you are as far as making that comment don't ever come on my channel and talk that kind of crap ever again because again I'm fiercely protective of this community and not only did you cheese me off about me representing the masculines in this way that just because they use the word bruh means that they're somehow city guys who are urban oh my goodness let me just breathe for a second here You didn't only cheese me off about like the masculine collective, but it's like me too. Like this is the way I carry myself. I use the word bruh. This is how I talk to my family when the camera's turned off. This is how I talk to my brother. I would hate to be thinking that me and my brother were off somewhere in public having a conversation and getting down and talking like we talk with our accent and, and with our slang because we grew up here in the GTA in Toronto and Ontario and for some woman to look at him and associate that with him being uneducated or immature. There are tons of masculines out there, guys, and specifically because of that type of comment is why they're afraid to approach the divine feminines. Because they're afraid of being judged in this way. They're afraid of having to change themselves so drastically just to be able to match what society deems as an educated, well-kept, mature man, right? Many of them are striving to get there not knowing that they're already there because they have good hearts and they have good minds. Never mind the way they might dress and the way they might talk, right? They have good hearts. They're good people. And masculines, if you're tuned in and you're listening right now and you're resonating with this message, don't try to shift yourself or change yourself. Your feminine loves it when you say bruh. She loves your little accent when you talk, like whatever that accent may be. She loves when you speak from an authentic place. You don't have to change anything about yourself. This goes out for the masculines who have feminines who are way older than them. Maybe you feel like your feminine is well-educated and well-off and you are not reaching out to her or you are not getting in 
involved in this connection in the way that you really deeply want to because you're so afraid of her turning around and judging you like this person did in the comment section. You know, many of the masculines are so afraid to be who they are because they feel like I'm going to be in hermit mode, I'm going to be in the hanged man or the devil energy because, you know what, when I look at her, she's so perfect. I can't even approach that, bruh. But little do you know, your feminine absolutely loves that about you. And don't for a second think that there is anything about you that is imperfect. If you have a good heart and you have a good mind, the universe will bring abundance to you. The universe will create opportunities for you. All right? Don't forget that, my dear divine masculines. I don't want to get too heavy into this, guys. Like, you know, I was going back and forth in the comment section with this person. And you know, I think it was Alondra who came to my um, <laughs> my aid and she was like, you know, that's right. You hit him straight with it, homie. And Alondra, I appreciate you so much. I think there was someone else who stepped in in the comment as well to say like, hey, I have a masculine who uses those words in slang, but he knows how to carry himself well when he needs to. And same with me, guys. Like, you know how I sound in past readings. I know how to put on the voice and, and the accent to be absolutely perfect and sound absolutely North American and get through to as many people as I can, you know, but also I at the same time, like I could talk like this too. And it doesn't mean that you guys are, are going to understand me any less. It doesn't mean that you guys are going to love me any less. It just means that this is who I am. And I'm educated. I'm mature. You guys have felt that energy in past readings. And just because I might spit some slang or use the word bruh, it doesn't mean that my masculine is not educated or he's not mature. He's a beautiful, beautiful man. And shout out to my Divine Masculine too. I don't think I've ever done that on the channel. <laughs> but, um, you know, shout out to my DM and for being the kind of man that he is and as beautiful as he is. And he doesn't have to change a thing about himself. I absolutely love this journey and I love everything about him. And I know that many of you feel this for your counterparts as well. So sending out so much love for our Divine Masculines. And, you know, a lot of the channelings that I do, a lot of the letters that I do, a lot of the times my divine masculine is behind that energy guys and so I don't really think I would be able to get into the space of doing like sexual readings or doing like the letters if my masculine wasn't right behind me or present within my energy to deliver that stuff to you guys okay I just wanted to use these cards to send the masculine collective some additional messages of confidence and empowerment to let you know that you are perfect just the way you are all right let's get a few and then i'll uh, put the cards out and i'll do like a nice reading i i love every card in this deck it's messages from your guides so i always feel like they're definitely um divinely guided all right, so this one popped out first because it says worry is a wasted emotion. And I feel like this is a personal message for all of the masculines who are in that energy of not approaching your feminine again because you feel like you need to do some polishing up and changing who you are and being more mature and sounding better and you're racking your brains trying to do this and the universe is like, no, eh, you're not supposed to change who you are at the core. <laughs> She's going to accept you and love you just the way you are. You are perfect, Divine Masculines. And don't let something silly like your accent or the, your use of slang or the way you dress, like, you know, feeling like you need to drastically change all these things when if at the end of the day, like, again, you come with a very good heart, a very good mind, very pure and good intentions, and you like the way you dress, you like the way you talk, she loves it too. So don't worry about those things and don't worry about what society is saying and the kind of outdated beliefs that people might still be circulating in society. Just X those people out and know that this twin flame journey is leading you back to yourself first so that you can feel good and confident again in who it is you are. That's why we return back to all of this inner child stuff and, you know, our twin whenever we have conflict with them, it definitely forces us back to look at ourselves and it's like everything that you're worried about yourself that's like imperfect or you're feeling not confident about it don't worry acceptance acceptance is key <laughs> so make each day count so masculines I want you to practice thinking really good thoughts about yourself and it makes me think about this worry card here sorry guys my son and my husband are having 
a blast in the basement because they are chasing each other around. So that's my son screaming away and he's playing. <laughs> so that's what that noise is, my beautiful, beautiful masculines. Um, so it kind of goes hand in hand with make each day count and worry is a wasted emotion. I feel like making each day count has a lot to do with when you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror, maybe you and your divine feminine aren't talking at the moment or you guys are separate. I want you to look into the mirror and I want you to love yourself. I want you to realize that in this moment, you're perfect the way you are and you know that she loves you in this very moment. It's just you are on this journey of feeling like, I need to shift this, I need to shift that, I can't approach yet, I can't approach tomorrow, like, you know, don't worry about when, what, how, why, until you come into a place of self-love and not worrying about the connection and more filling it with thoughts of what it is you actually desire and want, you know, that's when we can then get into a place of moving forward and maybe reaching out for communication, because it's, it's not only like the feminines here who are waiting around for communication. The masculines are also waiting around for communication as well. And they know at this moment, they're the ones to initiate it. But they're also waiting very patiently to gain that confidence back or to get some kind of divine guidance that talks about this very acceptance that they need to hear that is for them. The divine feminines love you and accept you just the way you are. I <laughs> I keep getting that message and I think that maybe that person in the comment section you know maybe triggered me for a reading for a reason sorry so that I would do this type of reading and I would bring this kind of um, vibe and energy to the channel here because maybe a lot of the divine feminines are wondering what's the hold up well guys honestly like it's comments like that that other women have made to them in the past or society has made them feel a certain way about who they are and it's just honestly like taken a toll on like their confidence and their esteem and then they come across their divine feminines and they're like I don't get it how could she love me you know and it's like she does she loves your soul it's not the way you talk it's not the way you carry yourself it's not whether or not you went to university or not it's not whether or not you have like a tip top job or whatever the case is she just loves and accepts you for who you are and is waiting for you to do the same so that's why don't worry about catching up or trying to be something that you're not focus more on making each day count and accepting yourself and loving yourself for where it is you are right now and being grateful gratitude is such a powerful emotion and it actually opens up our eyes to all of the blessings that we actually do have right in front of us like the roof over your head the fact that you have food to eat you know never mind how you talk and what it is you're wearing and whether or not you went to school you have family around you, food to eat, a roof over your head, if it's winter time and you have a warm home to go inside, that is abundance, all right? These are things that you need to feel grateful for and know that you are taken care of by the universe. You start feeling grateful for what's right in front of you, that is having that good heart and that good mind that we feminines know is in there within you. We see your heart shining so big, masculines, and we just want you to see it too. So X out all of these labels that society has given you and past karmic partners maybe even your parents growing up maybe friends and see yourself for who you are learn from your mistakes maybe the mistake is not actually accepting yourself for for who you are you know maybe trying to change yourself maybe talking badly to yourself when you have a moment to be in silence you know constantly trying to figure out how you need to change Maybe quit worrying about changing yourself so much and realize that your thoughts are creating your reality. So in order to shift your thoughts into very positive, high vibrational ones, start with gratitude. I promise you it works. Like even for me, you know, like the fact that I have a, a, a place just to, to do my thing and... I have clothes on my back, <laughs> you know, like I have my family around, I have friends around, I can breathe, I have my health, like I can use my limbs. These are all things that create momentum. And when you create that momentum and you start feeling good about yourselves, 
you can attract anything into your reality because that's where it all starts. Like you want to start bringing things into your reality without lifting a finger. You start where you are right now and you start feeling good on the inside about everything that you've been given. And don't worry about what society thinks or says. You are perfect divine masculines, all right? I love you guys. I know this reading was a bit short and abrupt and out of the ordinary, but I had to address it and I had to bring it to your attention. And just to let you guys know, like I have your back and all of you tuned in right now, you are perfect no matter what your outward appearance may be and what other people might think about it and label you as. You guys are perfect. All right. I love you guys. Take care and I'll catch you in the next video. All right. Bye guys.